Hi, this is Jeff Onetta Dog with The Wrap, and this is another episode of Drinking with the Stars. I'm here at Mixology at The Grove in Los Angeles, and I'm joined by the beautiful Natalie Zeed, the star of the Amazon pilot, The Rebels. I'm drinking a spicy 50, and she's having a... I'm having a Hendrix Gin Martini up with three olives. Wonderful. Cheers. Cheers. Before we get onto the Amazon yes. pilot, I have to talk to you because I think people will shoot me if I don't ask you about it. And we can talk about it now. The following. So Claire, Claire's Claire is one of our favorite people on the first season of the following. We watch her die. We watch basically. her die. We get to watch her die at the end and the beginning. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people were shocked that happened. A lot of people were shocked at the decision. Tell me a little bit about doing that last, those last few scenes and why you... It was so serious on set because the crew didn't even know. We, Ooh. I know, we got to set and the first time they saw the scene was when we rehearsed it. And everybody was really, I, I think they were trying to be respectful, but they were all, they were all very serious. And I was like, guys, it's cool. I've known for a while. It's, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> now, I, speaking of death, you know, your oh. new project. Yes, okay. So, <laughs> like that segue. segue. That new, your new project. My new, yeah. my new project begins with a death, too. Mm -hmm. But it's so, like, it's, I mean, it, the, the levity comes in right. really quickly after. Yeah. So the Rebels, the pilot for the Rebels opens with um, my character, Julie. Her husband has died recently, and he uh, was the owner of a Los Angeles football team that, that he leaves to me solely. Me, for me. Me. I'm really good at football. <laughs> um, so yeah, you see, you see the death, you see the funeral in the mm -hmm. beginning, and then, it, and then it becomes hilarious. Yeah. Don't ask me how, but it does. <laughs> so we have this stuff about the football team that I think guys will like, but I think girls will appreciate that this is about you, your character in a guy's world, and trying to get respect. Yeah, I think they I think they did a really good job in, in um, encompassing so many different demographics. Um, even if you're not, a, I'm not a huge sports fan and I'm not really into football. I mean, I'm not, I'm not into sports all that much. I do know a little about football, um, but it, that's not really what it's about. I mean, later on, like Friday Night Lights, you didn't have to love football mm -hmm. to love that show. No. And I think it's kind of the same thing where women, I, I've, I've heard from a lot of women who aren't sports fans who really like the show because they can identify with the plight of a single mom sort of in and overhead, but also she's smart, you know, mm -hmm. she's not a dingbat. She's, cause she's older. She's, you know, she's lived some life and she, she kind of knows what she's doing, but just enough to make it really <laughs> funny. Yeah. Speaking of funny, because I mean, you, you did justify, you did the following. Um, people don't necessarily think of you think of you as a comedian, um, yeah. was there any challenges or, or was there something about the project that uh, attracted you to it? Was, it? was it about being able to be well, funny? Well, I wanted to, I knew the next thing I wanted to do was going to be a comedy and I thought I was going to have to wait a little while for that, um, but I, it happened really quickly. It happened a lot sooner than I thought, um, so that was good. I mean, we did a lot of Im improvising during mm -hmm. rehearsals. Um, and I was surrounded by some um, like just knockout improvisers, so I had to step up my game a little bit, and they made me look better than I am. <laughs> and the cocaine monkey. That a cocaine. There's, 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 there's a cocaine monkey. There's a cocaine monkey that shoots guns, <laughs> and that's genius. He's, yeah. he's the smartest of us all. But let's talk about really quickly about the process at Amazon for the pilots. Mm -hmm. People vote on the pilots. They watch them and right. they vote on whether they think that the, they want to see the rest of the season, and so. What are, what are your thoughts on that? Like, have you? It's horrifying, isn't it? I mean, it's great, but it's horrifying. I think ultimately, it's it's way better because at the end of the day, I, I don't want to get myself in trouble, but uh, sometimes the people who are making the decisions are a little out of touch mm -hmm. with what what the the popular vote might be. Mm -hmm. um, so in that sense, it's really great. Um, people also tend to be very honest when they are behind a keyboard. So that, no. that's the terrifying part of it. But as long as you don't, I, you know, I, I shelter myself from that kind of yeah. stuff, so I don't really know about it. You can find the pilot at Amazon.com. Amazon.com. And you can watch it for free, I believe. You can watch it for free, and you can leave notes and comments and um, love, love letters to me um, in the comments section. Love letters to Natalie. Five stars, guys. The, the Rebels. Rebels. <laughs> oh, jinx. <laughs> Look what we did. <laughs> I think that means you have to drink. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> I'll eat it. Oh.